From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Some Sadducees, those who denied that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Peter, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her, and likewise all the seven died childless. Finally the woman died. Now at the resurrection whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when the Lord called out, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the 32nd Sunday in the Ordinary Time. We are still in the month of November. Of course, this month is dedicated for our faithful departed in particular. So as, as the Ordo would say, for those who would visit the cemetery for these days, octave, November 1 to 8, they gain the plenary indulgence. As long as they fulfill the requirements, you go to Mass, you have your confession, and you pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. And of course, you pray for your faithful departed. Did you do that? Mukhang hindi. Sige lang. But then more important today, we come to this 32nd Sunday in the ordinary time. The underlying theme of two readings, from the first reading as well as of the Gospel, they simply speak of one theme, that's afterlife or a life after this life. O sinasabi natin, yung buhay sa kabila, o sa kabilang buhay. Are you ready for that? Mga ayaw nyo, no? <laughs> Alam nyo minsan, even going to the gospel, when you see couples who are so happy together in their marriage, they would always say, Father, Father, sana sa kabilang buhay kami pa rin. Minsan marimi yung husband, ikaw na lang mag-isa, ayoko na sa iyo. Pero minsan iba naman na sabi na pa, yung lalo naghihirap yung buhay, sabi nila, Father, ay salamat sa wakas. Pag sa kabilang buhay, hindi na rin kami magsasama. So those are our ways. But I would feel it, and I would put human ways of life. But we see what God is saying to us. Will be it as such in the afterlife? Sino sa inyo may asawa dito? Very good. Gusto pa rin yung mga husband ninyo sa kabilang buhay? Historia, he. No. <laughs> Maniwala ako siya. Baka dito lang yan, ha? mamaya. Mga ano. Pero you see, I would like first to call your attention to the beautiful first reading. I said, the underlying theme is the afterlife. Kabilang buhay o buhay sa kabila. But then putting it in another context, buhay sa kabila, pero buhay na walang hanggan. Life eternal, therefore. 
The first reading is a beautiful testimony. It's a first biblical account, the book of Maccabees. They believe in life after. You see, seven brothers, seven children of a mother, they died courageously. They want to profess their faith. They do not want to deny in front of their mother. Alam mo, minsan pag binabasa ito in the ordinary readings of time, you know, my heart is always pierced in front of a mother for seven children to die. What a painful and what a great agony for the mother. But you see, the mother witnessing the death, I believe she is the happiest person. Why? For her, there is no other way in life than to die for the sake of faith, than to die for the sake of resurrection, believing that there is life after this, better to suffer in the hands of men than to suffer in God, without God in life. Amen? Amen. Are you willing to die for the faith? Pakitaas na yung kamay nyo. Wala na. Kahinain ang kahinain. <laughs> o diba, Lorenzo Ruiz beautifully said, Even if I have a thousand and one lives, I'd be more than willing to offer it to the Lord. For the sake of Christ, for the sake of the gospel. The mother and the children are testimonies of this faith that they have received. And they do not want to squander. They do not want that nothing would happen. And they do not want even to deny that faith because simply they are rooted. We thank them for the gift of that witnessing. Ang ganda ng isang bata, di ba? Young as he was, he put his tongue immediately and said, I am ready. How I wish our young people would be as such, always ready to die for the sake of Christ. Is this your life, young people? Hmm, wala. Kasi kulang pa sa gimmick, kulang pa sa uyab. Well, you would not. But hopefully the readings of the day would become our example. There is life and we prepare for the other life. Beautifully, I would like to recall your attention. Sige sa inyo nagninong at ninang nasa sa binyan. Wow. O sige nga, when that priest would ask, what do you want for your child? Why did you come to the church? Ano sagot nyo? Okay, very good. Sacrament of baptism. Uh, what does the sacrament of baptism offer to the child? Sige nga. Oh, hindi. O effects yan. Faith. You ask for the sacrament of baptism so that this child will receive it. But then more beautifully, the third question is, although minsan hindi na tinatanong, what does faith offer to the child? Anong binibigay ng pananampalataya? O anong binibigay? Buhay na walang hanggan, eternal life. Tandaan nyo ha, baptism, faith for eternal life. Kaya nga today, in the gospel reading, when they said, oh wow, a woman married seven brothers. This is another story. Napakaswerte naman nun. Swerte kaya yon? Hindi naman siguro, no? Although sila ngayon sa atin, hindi allowed ito. But then you see, the question lies, these are the Sadducees. Sadducees are people, a religious group, who do not believe in the rest of... Sa kanil, walang pagkabuhay. Pero the Pharisees on the other, they would say, Yes, we believe in the life after. Pero ito yung improvement lang ng buhay natin dito. Parang continuation lang. Ah, sabi, no, no, hindi ganun. Hindi lang yung dugtong, hindi lang yung improvement. But there's something more. Kaya ang unang sabi niya, people here marry and remarry. But in the age to come, there would be no more marriage. Because it would be life already with Christ. It should be life with Christ. Ano kaya yung buhay kay Christ? Tingnan natin yung mga mag-asawa dito. How's your life with your husband? It is heaven or is it hell? hindi na kayo sumagot. <laughs> so, pero siguro makaya, ah, sa, salamat na lang, tapos na itong buhay. But then, more than that, it's na, we have to gain that eternal life. Father Hill, in the Sambuha, then said, eternal life or life after is both a commitment, a responsibility. Ang ganda. You want it? Yes, be responsible. So much so that when the faith is received, eternal life is there for us, but we have to be responsible and we commit ourselves in order to get that life eternal, that after life. And when we mean life with God in the other life. But then of course, life in the other life would mean we should experience death. Are you ready to experience death? Ayan yun. Pakita naman sa katabi mo, handa ka na ba? Kung ni Lord? Papakisabi lang, malapit ka ng kunin ni Lord, no? November, di ba? But you see, this is it. Our experience of that would merit us. But you see, it should be a life here on earth that is also crucial. Tingnan din natin yung buhay natin. If we deserve that one or not. Because it is an examination of conscience. This Sunday even becomes an examination of conscience for us. 
Do I merit this life after in Christ? Life with God. Because why? Christ is promising. There is life after. And this is a life with God. And I would just wish, and even, life with God is beautiful. Amen? Life with God is meaningful. Amen? Life with God is all that we would like. Amen? Diba yung beatific vision? Pag tinamin yung katabi mo, kung may vision ka o wala, makita mo siya, parang sabihin mo, ayaw ko nang mabuhay, no? <laughs> Pero siguro, pag makita mo, so, wow, Lord, ito yung buhay. Kaya siguro, sinasay, in afterlife, siguro, there's no more husband and wife. But perhaps the two of them now glorifying God, only facing God, and they enjoy the greatness of God. That's life. That's resurrection. That's eternal life given to us. So are you ready to leave your husband and wife for life eternal? Kaya di ba, till death do us part? Yun yung maganda doon? O pangalawa, sabi niya, God is the God of the living and the dead. But more important, the last part, it says, sabi niya, for Him, all things are alive. Everyone is alive. There's so much life in God. Yun yung maganda doon. Kaya di ba, in the, in the perspective of God descending, because He loves us, man has to go up. That's our commitment and our faith. Why? We believe in God is alive. We believe in God is the God of all the living. We believe that this is a God who had promised us, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and His promises are fulfilled. His promises are fulfilled in life. What a faithful God we celebrate. But then second reading would say, pray the necessity of prayer. Put into hearts and persevere in good works. So that truly this life eternal will be yours. This Sunday teaches us there is resurrection. You went to the cemetery last November 2? November 1? Yes, indeed. But why did not, we did not remain there? Because we believe that there is resurrection. We simply bury corporal works of mercy, but we believe that there is life. One day He will resurrect. One day we will be with Him. But more than that, one day we will be with God. The saints would say, desire every day. I want to be with God. Pakisabi nga, I want to be with God. Yes. Pakisabi sa kataya, I do not want to be with you. <laughs> but we want to be with The desire of every soul, the desire of every human being to be with God, the reason why we are created. To be with God forever and after. The ultimate reason. And the resurrection is the reason why we suffer even, why we undergo this life, why we even have these pains and struggles and everything. There is resurrection. The ultimate reason why at times in pains we accept, even in death we still love and smile. Because simply the resurrection is there. Paul would say, Oh death, where is your sting? Oh death, where is your victory? There is the resurrection. And when there is resurrection, there is everything. May you find this resurrection and may one day we will see each other in the kingdom of heaven. Promise? Pakita nung sa katabi mo, magkita ba tayo doon? To those friends at home, in your sickness, in your sufferings, there would be an end to that. The Beatitude would say even, Blessed are we in our pains and struggles, even our mourning, for we have the mercy of God. Life eternal is for us. There is an end for everything. We continue, but in goodness of life, and persevere because of the love of God. Amen.